So you are? Shed Games. Shed Games, okay. So these are your they miniatures. They are. And they're very nice, I must say. Thank you. Uh, also in Coral Monsters, extra detail at the back. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. It's good for friends, all the young ones. So what's the idea behind them then? Um, obviously they're just miniatures for purchase in the game. They're going to be added to uh, my game. Yeah. Which is a Victorian yes. horror game. Okay. Uh, the base game is... like Cthulhu, that sort of thing? No, it's, it's true Victorian horror. Oh, um, okay. So it's Invisible Man, Frankenstein's Monster. Go on, yeah. Go on, yeah. 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 Brilliant. Uh, my first expansion um, is more of a classic theme, so it's like Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues. Yeah, like it, so yeah. Heavy Dice, Dice of Steam, Boat, Yacht Dive as well, how it is, and Tentacles. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, that kind of thing. Um, so, sure. yeah, these are all going to be folded into that game. I'm with you, yeah. Excellent. Well, good luck with that. Sounds good. So, um, when's, when's it all going to be? I mean, how much will it cost somebody starting off in that game? Uh, the base game is already out now. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so it's a board game. It's a yep. dungeon crawler. Yep. Uh, it comes with full 3D resin tile sections. Excellent. Play on. Yep. Uh, the game itself is 65. Okay. Um, we've got various expansions already, which are different stories which we can go through. Yep. Uh, they're normally priced at about the eight to ten pounds um, price range, and each one of those is a new story you can play with a new tile set, a new monster. Excellent. And how's it doing? All right? Yeah, very well. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yes. that's good. It's nice to see like new different versions of the hobby, you know. Yeah. It's, um, uh, I mean, these days some of the sculpting and stuff, and the way the hobby's moved on, is fucking fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, it really is, yeah.